I am a loyal wife, faithful and fearful. Sa 18 years ni Gary sa abroad, never akong humanap ng iba. Pasensyosa akong naghihintay sa pag-uwi niya every two years. Yes, two years. We had a system. Plado na binuo namin para hindi masira ang rel- relasyon namin. When pandemic hit, yung two years naging four years. Sabi namin okay lang. What's another two years? Nagkamali ako. Two years was not a duration for him. That was his limit. I found out about Anna, a girl she met abroad. Heard they had a child. Imagine yung buong mundo mo gumuho. He was mine. Pumayag ako na sustentuhan niya yung bata. Di naman ako masama. Di ako halimaw. Pero ang kondisyon, uuwi na siya. He did. I forgave. And I started to forget. But now I learned Anna was not a mistake. She was loved. And he is still in love. I saw the extra phone. I saw the letter na iiwan niya sa akin. That was the breaking point of our relationship. 27 years of marriage. And still, it wasn't enough. Ako si Alice. Single mom of two boys. At ito, ang story of my sacrifice. My breaking point. Sabi nga nila, my love, it takes great deal of bravery, courage, and strength to keep on holding on. Pero it takes a greater deal letting the person you love go. And sometimes no matter how we fight, no matter if we want to fight, if the person that we are fighting for ay hindi na kumakapit, hindi na nag-hold on, pumipiglas na palayo. No matter how noble our intentions How hard we pull to make them stay. Kakawala at kakawala sila sa'yo. Not even 27 years of marriage can stop it, apparently. Mula sa kwento ni Alice. Pero my love, ganito no, when a person wants to leave you, And the person is doing everything, giving you every reason to let them go. You don't need to force yourself up until it's breaking point. Sometimes, yung initial panalang, palang nila, yung kauna-unahang beses palang nilang nagpakita sa iyo ng interes na gusto na nilang bumitaw, gusto na nilang umalis, gusto na nilang kumawala, gusto na nilang lumayo, they want to call it quits. Doon palang, my love, sana bumitaw ka na. Pero this is an easy situation if you don't have a child to consider kung wala kang batang kailangang i-consider sa equation. In cases of women na nasa relationship with a partner that no longer wants them, but the problem is they have a child, that initial option is not something they can take. Kasi they are not just deciding for themselves, nagde-decide na sila para sa kanila at para sa mga anak nila. So, nilalaban nila hanggang dulo, hanggang sagat, hanggang kinakaya. Some of the women of today are smarter. What they do is they hold on to a relationship because they need the stability. 
Pero once na nakapag-ipon na sila ng sarili, nakapag nakapagsimula na sila ng something small and sustainable for them, they eventually let go. Let go of the dream na yung sinira ng asawa nila can be brought back together. So my love, you have two options. Kapag ikaw ay single, wala ka namang anak. The first sign, initial sign, that someone wants to leave you behind. Let them go. Kasi if a person loves you, leaving you will not cross their mind in any given time. Kahit ano pang sitwasyon, kahit ano pang problema, kahit ano pang unos, leaving you shouldn't be an option to them. Fighting for you, fighting for what you have, should be the top of his or her priority. Or making it work at least man lang. Should be on the consideration list. Pero if you are with a child, do what most of the smart women of the day does. Be smart, my love. Gusto niya nang umalis? Wait lang. I make myself stable. Or, is a safe proof ko muna yung mga pangangailangan ng bata. Sisiguraduhin ko muna ang meron tayong kasulatan, permahan na kailangan magpadala ka para sa kanila. Pagtapusin mo sila ng pag-aaral, magtuwang tayo sa kanila. If both have agreed, sige, I'll let you go. Hindi na usaw ngayon, my love, yung sumusulok, nagmumukmuk, o kaya yung yumayakap sa tuhod, nagmamakaawang wag umalis. There are smarter ways for us to sustain the family that this person, itong duwag na to, will leave behind. Let's use the smarter way of doing that. Kasi sa separation, my love, sa paghihiwalay ng dalawang taong supposedly dapat nagsasama habang buhay. The one who is being left behind. Hindi niya kailangan mawalan pati ng dignidad sa process ng paghihiwalayan. You shouldn't have to beg for a person to stay. You shouldn't have give this person an option na sige mas magiging maluwag ako sige hahayaan ko kayo basta dito ka lang sa akin basta sa akin ka uuwi that shouldn't even be considered so my love again at your breaking point just make sure na you'll have your integrity and dignity intact if they want separation if they want to leave Be smart. Safe proof yourself and the people you love. Para pag umalis siya, mag lang siya sa iyo ng sakit. mag lang siya sa iyo ng malaking lesson in your life. And yes, siguro mag din siya ng konting emptiness and hole. But he won't break you or he won't leave you into pieces. Kahit pa paano, meron ka pang equal footing. Para makatayo ulit. Okay lang na iwan nila tayo. Wag lang yung iwan nila tayong durog na durog, wasak na wasak. Sa panahon ngayon, hindi na dapat uso yan. We can fall in love and be smart both at the same time. Klaro? Klaro.